Hey everyone. I thought I would send a quick update on the new way that we're going to move the project cards through the simulation. So last time you gave me feedback that it was a little bit hard on the front end to navigate students submitting the cards and then trying to make sure everyone had agreed to the project and then moving them from this banker communication channel then to the actual banker admin channel. So I'm going to have a separate video that goes over the flow sheet, but basically this is what I'm envisioning now. So the students will access the banker communication channel just like they did before. I'm going to make another video telling them that they, in the subject, need to put in the name of their project in full. So if they're doing an ETU, they have to put ETU. And then we're going to have them title each project with the actual first letter of the organizations that are contributing. So in this case, they should title their project card ETU-GUR. So that's Gates, UNICEF, Red Cross. So at least we'll have a code and they should all be unique that will help us keep track of which projects are where so that if something gets rejected, we kind of know which one's getting rejected. We were having a little trouble with that last time. So hopefully this will help solve that problem. So here we have ETU-GUR and they're going to submit that project. So they should then put ETU-GUR here, and then they're going to identify at Banker, as they did before. And then they're going to say, in this case, I'll do the same thing. So the Gates Foundation, they have to say who's, who, who's part of that. And then they have to say who's doing each of these, who the negotiator is. So. Same, and I'm going to emphasize to the students that they need to do this. So that hopefully relieves some of the pressure on the banker as well, that they don't have to check the approval process. It should automatically, if they tag the banker and then tag everyone else that's included, and then they're going to drag their PDF in here. So as the banker, you'll get a notification that someone submitted a card. You're going to have a specific code that will go with that. And essentially, so they're going to send that off. And as you see here, when they send that off as the banker, you should expect that the people who weren't me, so I submitted the card, I'm the lead on this, I submitted the card, then Amanda Zabala and Judson Alterman should say, agree, agree. And until that happens, you as the banker, don't have to do anything. So you don't have to prompt them. You can just wait until you see agree, agree from the, these two people here. The other thing I'm going to ask the banker to do is just quickly open the card up, make sure that there's a name on the card here as well. They've put whatever project they're doing and that they have, in fact, three organizations and that they have put some resources in each of these and hopefully put a mark here. This, I'm not as worried about if they don't put a mark. If they don't, then they don't get to choose where the project is. But as a banker, you can really quickly just open up, do they put a title on the project card? Does each organization actually contribute something to that project? So once you've done that, all you have to do as the banker is then reply, and you're gonna send it to the banking manager. So that's Matthew Homan, so you'll just say, and I'll create a tag for Matthew, but you can say at Matthew Homan, and then you can say everyone has agreed, for example. So you can create that tag, say everyone has agreed, and then now, and instead of you as the banker having to move this, the banking manager, who will be Matthew Homan, the banking manager will then, he can take this card. So that's now the banking manager will then take this card. He'll say get link. He will copy the link here, and then he will go to the banking admin channel, and then he is going to start a new title here. So again, he's going to click there, so we can add a subject, ETU, GUR, and then he's going to say, for loan officer. And that's going to be at... Amanda Zabala, so he'll send that to Amanda, and then he'll just put in that link, and then he can send that off to Amanda, and then she will move it through. So 
basically not much is changing. Really, the only thing we're changing here now is I'm going to be a lot more specific. The students have to title, put the full project title here, as well as the first letter of their organization. They need to make sure they send information to the banker, and they also need to then include their coordinators. Like, And then we're expecting that everyone who's involved in that project, who's been tagged, says they agree, and we don't, basically, we don't move the project forward until they all say agree. So as the banker, you're just kind of keeping track of which projects have been, has everyone agreed on, and which projects are still waiting, awaiting someone to agree on, and do they at least have a name on the card, as well as some resources filled out for each organization that's, whose name is on the card. So hopefully that makes it a little bit easier Again, please at, let me know if you have any questions about that. I think that's going to be, make it just kind of easier for one bank, the banker to kind of just make sure the card is completed correctly and everyone agrees, and then the banking manager can navigate between the two different channels.